Okay, hello everybody. Welcome to CAD at Home. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to use a free online software called Home Styler. So you can just go into your Google Chrome window, type in Home Styler, and click on that Google search. Uh, if you haven't already created a login, you're going to want to say sign in. And you'll want to create a password here, create a login here. Uh, I already have one open, so I'm going to just tab to mine, but I just want to point out this is something that is actually made by um, by Autodesk, which is the same company that we use in the classroom, so has a lot of similarities. All right, this is my login for Homestyler. I'm, you can see I'm already logged in. So what we're going to do, I want you to say start designing. Now, for this first at-home assignment, what I'd like you to do uh, is to create a new design. So just click Create New Design. And this is what the window looks like. So this is your floor plan view, and this is your 3D view. It'll show you both at the same time always, which is nice. You can toggle between the two by clicking this button. Doesn't mean a whole lot right now because we don't have any walls drawn. Okay, so to have walls to draw, uh, you're going to want to go to the Home Styler Walls um, selection sheet, which is on Classroom. It's a Google document. Uh, yours um, will look something like this. There may be some changes between now and then. But basically, for the half year class, you have the choice to either select a house of your own choosing um, from houseplans.com or use the house that I picked for you. So if you want to pick your own house, um, you go to houseplans.com, which I have open right here. I'd suggest you can say two or three bedrooms, one and a half or two baths. By the way, a one and a half bathroom means um, it's a bathroom without a bathtub or shower. That's all that is. And say one story, and uh, you'll want to search the plan. Um, I'll leave it up to you. Basically, you just look in these home plans, click on one. If you like the look of it, and then you can come down and see the um, image of the floor plans. It's helpful in this assignment if the house has a dimension listed for the height and width. Um, it's always going to be somewhere on this sheet. So, for example, here it does have depth and width. Depth is the depth from front to back of the house. Um, sometimes it's just a little unclear, though, if they're talking about with or without the little porch and whatnot. So if you watch my other video that's linked here, it'll really walk you through that selection process. Um, the other option is to use the house I have here. Um, this was just to take away having to find a house of your own choice, but I like to give you that choice if you want. Uh, so this is what the house looks like if you choose to uh, just use the one that I picked for you. It does have the dimensions listed front and back, 32 in feet wide which will become important. Okay. For the sake of this video, so that I can show you how to do this assignment uh, without actually doing it for you, I selected a house. Um, it's this house right here. It's a one-story house, three bedrooms, two baths. Um, so what you're going to need to do is right-click on the image here in your floor plans if you don't have it any already and say Save Image. And I'm going to save it as floor plan OSH for one story house. And I already have it in there, but I'll just, for the sake of doing this, say yes, create a new one. So you want to say import plan right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to basically trace an existing floor plan. So import, upload, and now you're going to want to upload an image. If yours does not show up here, you can change this to say all files. And mine was saved as a GIF file, so that's why yours may not show up. So make sure you have all files selected and then find your image wherever you saved it. And I'm going to hit open. Now, this wisely already has it scaling or scaling it for you. So it wants you to pick these two endpoints and that you need to know the distance between those two endpoints. For this house, it says the master suite 17 by 10 2. 
Now, I would assume 17 goes from this wall to that wall, but rather than having to assume, I'm going to go back to my website and look under the full specs. It's not definite, but hopefully your house you picked has the width listed. If they don't have the width listed here, then they should have the dimension on their drawing. So you're going to have to figure that out, find where your dimension is. Again, too many windows open. And I know it's 29 feet wide. All right, so you need to make these marks go the full width of your house as best you can. You can zoom in if you need to. Make sure that looks good. And now you need to tell it down here how wide this is. And that'll make it so that your image is scaled to the right size. So now I just have an image in here. It doesn't mean I have a floor plan. If you look, I have no walls anywhere. So now we're going to need to start by drawing walls. So to draw walls, I'm going to come up here and say create um, create room. But rather than drawing rooms, um, I'm going to say by edge. And before we get started, I want to change the wall settings. So since these are going to be exterior walls we're doing first, I'm going to change these to, so let's just say, 8 inches so that they're visibly thicker than what are going to be our interior walls. And for exterior walls, I'm going to say by edge so that I know I'm tracing on the edge of the... So you're always going to want to follow the exterior corner. Click on the exterior corner of your walls. You can zoom in and out with your middle mouse button as you go, but if you see, I'm always picking the exterior corner, just like we did in Revit. And you can go around the entire exterior of your house. And there we go. Our exterior walls are done. Now I'm going to come in. Okay, and now since I'm going to be doing interior walls, I'm going to change this wall setting to be 5 inches. It doesn't let me say 4.5, which is what we were using when we were working with Revit. So we'll just say 5. And now you're going to want to... I'm going to say by center here because I think it's easier to keep track of what's the inside or sorry, what's the middle. Oops, I missed my click. It's easier to trace right down the middle of a wall when you're dealing with this. So click on the middle. And I'm going to hit escape here because I want the wall to go the whole way across now. So I'm just going to click down so that I have one continuous wall. And you can see it automatically merges these walls together. Now, before I keep going, I want you to see that this is actually creating walls as we go. One way to see what this looks like is to click this button. And now it shows you your 3D view here. This little person here will indicate where your camera view is. So if you look, I just dragged it outside. Um, and now you can see what the outside of your house looks like. If you want to see more of a bird's eye view, you can come down here to camera settings. And rather than your camera height off the ground being three feet, let's make it, I don't know, let's say 15 feet. Now you can see what inside your house, you can see I'm making these walls. Now, before we continue any further, let's save this. So why don't you call it one story house with your initials. So I'm just gonna write Miss G. So one story house. Um, Four plans online. You may want to make this private, and I'm going to say save. Okay. So now to get back into our floor plan view, you can click this button again. And there we go. So now you're going to want to keep tracing all of your walls. Uh, for a wall like here, let me show you what I would do. For this one, I'm going to say by edge so that those edges line up. And then I know because I'm on an edge, I'm going to pick the outside corners. We could, we could do the same thing here because I want this in. Whoop. So you can see I'm missing getting this aligned because 
when I say by edge, it's always going to go, it wants me to go in the clockwise direction and then it'll be the outside edge. So I don't have it quite right here. So I'm just going to draw that. And you don't want this bump. That's not indicating how it looks in real, uh, the real design. So you can just drag this down until it aligns with the wall you want. If it just won't do it, you can also adjust dimensions. Oops. And if it just won't go where you want it to go, you can also um, dimension it. So I'm going to nudge it along by saying I don't want it to be eight. Sorry, we need to actually put in the. And let's see if that wasn't far enough. And so on there. Now I've got those two aligned and now you can continue on adding your interior walls. I'm not going to do every wall with you watching that you would get pretty bored watching me add every wall, but you would just keep going along like this. I missed that one, obviously. Um, I think I just put two walls on top of each other too. I don't know. Somehow I went back to eight inch walls. Not sure how that happened, but so this is what you do. Go along um, and keep adding your walls. Make sure you save it once you're done with that. And watch the next video to add to know how to add the doors and windows. Oh, one last thing. Before you screenshot this. Um, I would like to see you turn your background image off so you can uncheck that and now you'll see your um, room here, or sorry, your, your house here. I want you to name these rooms. So if you look, this is going to be, I don't remember what this room was, so actually let's go back and turn the background image back on. This space was a master bedroom. And you can keep going and changing the names of this space. Let's just call this one, is there a hallway? I mean, these are things that you can, yep, there's hallway uh, and so on. This would be a bedroom, although I'm gonna wait to name it until I split that into the bathroom and so on. Once you get all the names, then turn your image off and now you can snip this. I would like you to snip it. Um, make sure when you snip it that you get the name of your house up here. Um, just to make sure I see that you know how to name it. Uh, I would also prefer it if you put your man in a place where I can see your view here. You can rotate it right here. And there you go. Now you can snip this image. Again, I just want to make sure you know you need to have all the walls from your image in here. So make sure that you don't do what I did. I didn't add all the walls because I didn't want to show you all that. I also didn't name all the spaces because I didn't want to take the time to show you all that. Okay, that's it for now. Okay, one last thing I should probably show you. If you noticed here, this means this room is showing up as all one room. Uh, and it had to do with the way I created my walls there. I'm going to delete this wall. Put another one back in. It should split that space into two. There we go. So now I can name this one what it should have been. Which is, this is the master bathroom. This room is a closet. I don't think closets in the list. If you see it, go for it. Otherwise, if you don't see a name that you want, you can come down here and say other, and then it allows you to type it in. So I'm going to just say other. And now I would want to turn this image back off, of course. Well, this is permanently on top now. Let's just assume you can come down here to the bottom and uncheck your background again. For the sake of this video, I went on and picked a house that was not one that anybody selected. So this was the house I picked. 